Hi, welcome to CG Dive. In this quick tip video, I want to show you the solution to a very common Rigify problem. And that is the error bone position is disjoint when you try to generate the rig. I already showed why this problem occurs in my original Rigify series, which you should watch if you want to learn how to use Rigify properly, how to customize it, and how to avoid most of its problems. But let's focus on this common error now. So probably the most common way that people experience this error is they have a humanoid character and so they start from a human metric. So I'll go with the basic one because we don't care about the face and fingers in this case. So just a basic human. And now I want to scale it down to the size of my character. Then very importantly, I have to apply the scale and then I can enable X-ray to see what's happening better and I can start aligning my bones. And now I'm going to quickly align these bones and then I'll focus on the actual problem. Okay, so I have aligned most of my bones. I aligned the arms, the legs, and most of the spine. And now we come to aligning the end of the spine and the neck. Now, if I select the end of one of these bones and move it, you'll see that I can disconnect it. I can disconnect the neck from the spine. And this is where the problem lies. I'm going to right click here to cancel this movement. And now if you want to avoid this problem in the pre-built metric, you simply need to drag and box select over this area so that you move this connection of bones as one unit. Then you can align these bones and then the rest is fine. You cannot really disconnect these bones, so that's all fine. You just have to align them with your mesh. And now if I go to pose mode or object mode, I can go to my rigify buttons and generate the rig and everything will generate fine. However, let's undo. And if I go to edit mode and I actually disconnect these parts and then in pose mode try to generate, then you'll see that I actually get this error that I mentioned. Cannot connect chain, bone position is disjoint. Okay, so why does this happen? Um, I'm going to undo actually, uh, because when I press generate and get this error, Blender actually generates an empty rig. So I want to undo that, control Z until the rig disappears. And now I'm just back to my meta rig. Okay, so I'm going to select the first bone of the neck here, go to the bone tab, and then go to Rigify type. If you're new to Rigify or you didn't go too deep into it, then maybe you don't even know that these options exist, but they do. Basically, this meta rig consists of a bunch of building blocks. For example, the arm is one building block, the other arm as well, um, the spine is another one, and the legs are another one. And the neck is yet another one. And the neck has this connect chain option. When this option is checked, like it is by default in the pre-built meta rig, then the end of the spine and the beginning of the neck need to be snapped perfectly to each other. Uh, there are a couple of ways to achieve this. I can go to edit mode, select the end of the spine, press shift S, cursor to select it, and then I'll select the start of the neck and press shift S, selection to cursor. And that snapped both of them together. Uh, yet another way is if I press slash to isolate my meta rig and zoom in, I can switch to uh, vertex snapping, enable snapping, move this part until it snaps to where I want it to be. And that's it. So now again, if I try to generate the rig, it will work. And it will work because the neck and the spine are snapped together. So let's undo again. There is another solution to this. Here I have the neck and spine disconnected again. If I go to pose mode, select my neck and go to the rigify properties again, I can simply uncheck this connect chain option. And now my rig can be generated even if these bone positions are not snapped to each other. Here it is, generate rig, and it works without an error. And honestly, this connect chain option does not make a huge difference. Here you can see that I can move the neck and head and the chest normally. And I have some tweak bones. I'm going to turn off snapping. So there is one tweak bone for the end of the spine and one for the beginning of the neck. If I go back to the meta rig, 
and snap these guys and then turn on the connect chain on and generate again. The main difference that that makes is that the end of the spine and the beginning of the neck are now connected with this um, twig bone. But other than that, the behavior of the neck, head and chest are not that different. I think they're basically the same. So that is the root of the problem. It is the position of the neck relative to the spine. And of course, you also have to be mindful of this connect chain option. And there is one more way that you can stumble upon this error. And that is, um, I'm going to simply delete everything and then, and then I'm going to create a new meta rig. Uh, I need one with spine, so either the cat or the horse or the wolf. Let's go with the wolf. So the wolf has a tail. If I go to pose mode and select the first bone of the tail, you'll see that it also has the connect chain option. So if I go to edit mode and disconnect these bones and then try to generate, I'll get the same error. Bone position is disjoint. Uh, so to solve this, I just simply have to either turn off the connect chain option and then I can generate. And my rig was generated without an error or I can undo and snap the tail and spine together. In pose mode, I could enable the connect chain option and generate. To recap, this error occurs either in the neck or in the tail of your meta rig. If you want to make use of the connect chain option, which honestly isn't that important, but if you want to have it on, then make sure that the neck or tail are snapped to the spine of your character. And if you want or you simply need to disconnect the neck or the tail from the spine, then make sure that you turn off the connect chain option. I think with this info, you'll never have to deal with this error again. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. And again, if you want to go beyond the basics of Rigify, check out my Rigify series. I also have an advanced Rigify course for sale uh, where we go way beyond the basics and we build custom face rigs and muscle bones and all sorts of stuff all within Rigify. As always, big thanks to my supporters on Gumroad and Patreon. And I hope to see you in the next video.